Well, the long-awaited day has finally arrived for me to get out and do a little artifact searching. I'm on my way there now. Uh, I stopped by here on my way past here last evening, and uh, I was only here 10, 15 minutes, and I found about three pieces. I'll show those to you in a minute. So I think the potential is pretty high to find a few more things. So here I am. I'm excited. I can't wait to get out there in the field and see what uh, is waiting there to be discovered. So I'll be back once we, uh, once we get parked and ready to go. So here's what I found uh, when I stopped uh, as I was going by here yesterday uh, just to check see what things looked like and uh, gee they're not bad for just a quick little walk out here. Uh, there's some more fields back in there that I'm going to hit too so with any luck I should be able to find a few nice things so I'll be back as soon as I make my first find. Okay looks like I might have something here. Uh, it's been pretty tough. This is just kind of dissed up. Oh, it's been raining down, but this definitely looks like a point or something right here. So let's let's see what we got. Well, it's most of one. Looks like tip damage, but hey, that's a that's a good start. I'll take that. Pretty good spot here. Uh, as I passed down through, there was a lot of chips showing up, and then I see a few here right in this area, and. I just kind of saw, saw that poking through there. wasn't much showing. So I'll be back if there's anything else showing. Well, it looks like we got another one. I've walked quite a ways to get to this one, but I'll tell you, um, from what I can tell, it looks pretty good. I think it's all there, too. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a perfect one. Just a sweet little Lamoka point. Sure do like finding these. Well, that's the best find of the year so far. And hope I can build off that. I uh, come over in this area just on a whim to see what I could find. I've seen, I found some foot tracks in here, but they're older and they've been um, rained on. So, well, every time you get a rain, it's like a new field. So maybe my luck will hold up and I'll find some more. So I'll be back. Normally I don't get too excited about filming flakes because I see hundreds and thousands of them if I'm on a good site. But this one flake speak this one flake speaks volumes as to um, what happened here. When this was originally struck off, it was hit right here on this end, and it traveled the width of the piece, and it took out the other side. Now as a flint napper, and you can see that how it kind of bit out that side. This is a typical overshot flake. And it's pretty cool because, you know, it does clear a lot of surface because what he had before that was a high ridge here. And, and he probably wanted to stop somewhere right around in here, but the flake had so much energy behind it, probably a heavy hammer stone or a, or a billet, that it traveled across and took out the other side. So just wanted to bring that up because I think those are cool. And, uh, you know, it's something you find when you're out here. I mean, it's great when you're a flint napper yourself and you can see the things that you do uh, repeated by what they did. So this is an overshot flake. Well, I saw this one from about six feet away and uh, looks pretty good. Tip might have a little off of it, but wow, that's a good looking little point right there. Really narrow, a little windy out here, but look at that, laying, laying right there waiting for me to pick it up. As my buddy uh, Ben says, that's Indian Trace. Real old Indian Trace. These Lamoka points go back well, up to 3,000, 3,500 BC. So this, this area was visited a long time ago and uh, they definitely left some signs. Well, I'm hitting a section of the field where I don't see any tracks, at least for the moment. So maybe I'll have a little better luck. I'm in a really good spot here. I didn't walk too far from that last one. I was talking on the phone with my wife and I was just juking flakes with the um, my stick here and I juke this and I go, oh my gosh, I think that's an arrowhead. And sure enough, look at this. This is a neat little thing. It's all there too. Another little uh, Lamoka point. Not a bad one. I'll take those all day. 
but yeah that thing surprised me because uh, you know you poke a lot of flakes when you're out in a place like this and um, there's a lot of flakes here and uh, this one popped up as an arrowhead and I was glad to see it so we'll just keep trucking along here and see what else we can find well I'm pretty sure I know what this is I I did move it before um, I videoed here because I wasn't sure but I'm pretty sure this is the end of a pestle so I'll have to take it home and see if it matches up with anything that I've found in the past that's a beauty too that's nicely worked just a nice piece so the finds keep coming and I'm really glad they are because I'm long overdue well I just stumbled on something else of interest this is kind of interesting looking to be a blade of some sort maybe a small chip knife but, um, we're gonna grab and see what we got here definitely something worked looks almost like it's got a gargoyle back on it oh yeah this is <laughs> I know the feeling that this guy had running into a stack like that I tried it from all different angles but you know what he achieved though he's, he's still got a cutting edge and that's really what was what it was probably all about. He probably wanted to make an arrowhead out of this, but you know, with that big lump in the back, that kind of changed his plans. So that was an arrowhead that probably just didn't get made because of the material wasn't easy to work with. But I like this side, so I'll call that the display side. You know, I don't get many of these OMG moments like this, but this one is big time. Now, if you notice, that's a, put, a footprint from somebody before. Look at how close that is to that footprint. This goes to show the rain makes such a difference, and I can walk past them all day too. But this could be the biggest point I've ever found. I'm just scared to touch it. Just enjoying the moment here. It looks like a Genesee point, which would be a little different than what I mostly find on here. But hey, we got to do it. I can't believe there's anything this big in this field. Look at this point. Holy cow. This is, this is the best point I've found in probably <laughs> many years, if not ever. This is a big monster of a Genesee point. Look at this thing. And it was so close to that footprint. I just, I guess some things just are meant to be sometimes that I was meant to find this one. This is an amazing find. That's a big point for here. And I love Genesee points. Well, I love them all. But, you know, this is the Genesee Valley that these uh, fields are uh, next to. And to find a point like that, I just can't believe it. Because everything is so tiny out here. And then for this thing to come flopping up. And it wasn't even plowed. This has been all no-tilled. It must have been in the dirt. And just finally, you know, got uh, brought up by uh, their planning methods. Okay, this is it. This is the one big one. I think I'm just going to pack it up now and, and head home. Because I can't really top this one. But, you know... As long as there's field to look, it's so hard to turn away, isn't it? But anyway, this is this is this is it right here. This is my find of of many years. I'm sure you can't tell by the excitement in my voice. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If I don't find any more, I just thank you for hanging with me, watching this long video. This is my first hunt of the year, and definitely it's the best hunt I've had in a long time. So there'll always be more. Wow. My luck hasn't run out yet. Check this one out here. I was just doing some fast laps here just to see if I missed anything here. And obviously I did. Look at this guy. This thing is absolute perfection. That's an awesome Lamoka point. Tip is perfect. Not a ding out of it. It laid right there. I love these Lamokas with a really long stem bases. But just check that out. This is just getting better by the minute, but you know, 
this would have been the find of the day if it hadn't been for that big Genesee. So I'm pretty blessed to be out here and you know, and just enjoying this beautiful field. It's probably about 45 degrees, a little breezy, not bad. I'm used to the cold. And it's just, you know, the sun's kind of overcast, so it's not casting too many shadows. So what a great day this has been. I'm almost afraid to think if I could find anything else. Uh, this has just been fun. So again, thanks for tagging along, and uh, I will be back if there's more. Well, here's a quick cleanup of what I found today and uh, last night. You saw me find most of these. Um, here's that piece of a pestle. I looked and I didn't have anything that matched it. I didn't show you when I found this hammer saw. This is pitted, I think, a little bit on both sides. It's definitely been uh, used as a hammer stone. You can see the, the use wear on the end of it. And there's that great big point. And all the rest of them. So, pretty happy with those finds. And um, great start to the year. And uh, hopefully I'll get out and find more. Thanks for watching.